Hurry, yeah, 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 get the bye YouTube out of there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hey, didn't see you there. Did see you there. Hey, hey, remember the video from yesterday where I taught you some really cool tech in this game? Wow, that's crazy because I got some more uh, juicy stuff for you guys. This is gonna be a really quick one. This is gonna be a very short video. Uh, this is something some people have figured out, but not a lot of people. Oh, well, I don't know. This might be this might be widely known at this point, but this is going to be uh, just a very brief grounded movement tutorial on what I think is the best way to get out, get around on the ground in Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl. Okay, so if you guys have watched my kind of early impressions of the game, I think I was right about a lot of things. I think that this game, again, there's there's no um, there's no differentiation between walking and running in this game, right? There's there's only uh, because the game is not built for an analog controller, right? There's only one real grounded uh, movement speed if you're if you're walking back and forth. So, uh, you know, if I try to dash dance the way I might in a game like Super Smash Bros. Melee or Ultimate, uh, Toph just kind of does this. But whatever. It is uh, it is what it is. Okay. Sometimes you're not trying to look like Casey Frey uh, on the streets. You're trying to actually do some good movement, okay? You're trying to actually space around your opponent. So what a lot of Melee players intuitively realize, well, not even, actually, scratch that. It wasn't even Melee players discovered this. They literally put it in the gameplay trailer or the showcase. You can wave dash. Uh, the devs outwardly told us you can air dodge to the ground or air dash to the ground, rather, so you can wave dash. And this is how a lot of Melee players are wave dashing right now. Observe. I'm going into the air and I'm air dashing into the ground. And hey, this is pretty good. I think this is even better than wave dashing in Melee. Because for those of you who don't know, the reason me melee players, maybe some of you ultimate players are wondering this, why do melee players dash dance everywhere? Why don't they wave dash around more? We only really use wave dash as a more situational tool. It's because in melee, when you wave dash, there are 10 frames of lag after you air dodge into the ground. 10 frames of lag. In this game, it feels... It feels faster. It feels like there is less lag on your wave dash in this game than melee, which is maybe why my index finger callus that I've developed over the past day <laughs> exists only after me picking up Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl and not from me playing Fox McCloud in Melee for literally 13 years. Okay, so that's pretty good, right? We, we now know that, hey, we can actually wave dash pretty fast. This is actually a pretty good movement option. Like, I can space around and I can, you know, maybe set up for things like dash tags that way. That's, that's pretty cool, right? But here's the thing about this game that is uh, dissimilar to Melee. In melee, if you want to do a perfect wave dash, you need to input your air dodge, ideally on the first frame after you leave the ground. So as soon as you leave the ground, you input an air dodge, a diagonal air dodge, and you wave dash. If you input your air dodge, your air dodge, sorry, in melee too early, uh, what had what ends up happening is you just jump. Uh, the air dodge doesn't get red. The input doesn't get red at all unless you input it after you're in the air. So if you want to hit a crispy wave dash in melee, you got to do the air dodge after you leave the ground. This is not the case in Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl. Well, what does that mean? It means that even if I jump and air dash at the exact same time, I get it. Someone actually told me there was no jump squat, and that's actually what's going on. And that could even be the case too. It could just be that there's literally zero frames of jump squat. The core of the matter is, I again, I haven't gone frame by frame, but the practical, whether whether the reason for this is that there's zero jump squat, in other words, you leave the ground immediately in this game, or the reason is that there is jump squat, so you don't get off the ground immediately, but uh, there's a buffer, The pr what, what it means in practice is you can input your jump and your air dodge at the exact same time, and you will get a wave dash, a very clean wave dash, right? where you are air dashing as quickly as possible. You leave the ground one frame after pushing jump. Okay, yeah, so there's there's no jump squat in this game, unlike melee. In melee, when you hit the jump button, you basically don't actually leave the ground for a couple of frames. In ultimate, it's the same way, but every character has three frames of jump squats. So you press the jump button, and you will leave the ground three frames later. In this game, that's not the case. You leave the ground immediately with every character except Powder Toastman. And so you can literally input jump and air dash on the same frame or at the exact same time and you will still get a wave dash. There's one more very cool um, implication here. And this is where the second wave dash length comes into play. Here's the short wave dash. Here's the long wave dash. Well, what am I doing? I am air dashing completely horizontally. And because I'm not wave dashing the melee way where I'm waiting until I've kind of been in the air for a little while before I 
wave dash, if I input an air dash at the exact same time as I jump, but it's a sideways air dash, I will still get a wave dash, and I will get a completely uh, horizontal wave dash that goes quite far. You see this? Compared to this, right? I don't go as far. Look, when I do this wave dash from here, I don't go past this purple plant in the background of Bikini Bottom. This one I do. See that? I completely cleared it. See that? Contrast to that. Two wave dash lengths. And this is something that not everyone knows yet. Not everyone has really intentionally been using this uh, this wave dash. It, I, I still want to call it a wave dash. It, it basically is a wave dash, but you're using the game engine to basically get a completely horizontal wave dash that is bigger distance. Thank you.